Hi, Jerry Sell here with the Rogue and Rogue Armor Division of Forest River. And this video is about the LCI Insight Rear Observation Camera System. This system actually works through the Lippert One control system. So the first thing you need to do is have your smartphone and you're gonna need to download the Lippert One control app. Now I have it here on the screen, that's what it looks like. So once you download this app, uh, you'll have to register uh, who you are and information. And then what you're going to want to do to connect your phone to the one control system is you're actually going to scan it. Now I can't do it because I'm already into the system, right? But what I would do is come over here, you'll see there's two stickers. And what this is, is this is the main sticker for the one control. And then this sticker is actually for the camera itself. So the first thing you would do is it, you'll see on the one control to, to connect to your unit, um, it'll say scan. And all you have to do is hit that button to scan and it'll it'll do all the work for you you don't have to go to camera or anything and pop it up there it'll scan this and uh, it'll download the information and then you'll connect to your rv once you're connected you'll have a home screen like this that'll come up so on this particular model and we're in one of the rogue trailers you can see right now i can use the one control for the awnings i can control the lights i can even bring the slides in and out on this model so these stickers are located in the trailers. They're generally on a panel like this uh, where there's other switches. In the Rogue Armored product, you'll actually see it in the on the control panel itself, which has uh, uh, the uh, generator counter and all that kind of stuff that you'd have. Um, so what we've done now is we've scanned this and we've downloaded this. What we want to do is take the next step and go to the Insight backup camera. So what I'm gonna do here is on the phone, I'm gonna go down to the settings button and I'm gonna push the settings button and you'll see there's different things, diagnosti diagnostics, uh, some other things. Um, what we're gonna look for is adding, there we are, we're gonna add an accessory. So I'm gonna hit add an accessory, right? Now, um, you can try and scan for it, but I find it's a lot faster if you just hit the connect manually button. I'm gonna touch connect manually and now it's asking for the ID and password. Well, so we're not scanning this time. What we're doing, instead of scanning here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna input this SSID number right there. So now that we have the SSID entered in the phone, you'll see it asks for a password. You just wanna leave that blank this first time. I'm gonna hit return to get out of that, right? And now I'm gonna hit the connect button, right? RV connected successfully. We'll hit continue. So now we're back, we can go back one more time to home and now when we look here there it is right there camera so now it says awning camera lighting so we're gonna just hit this camera button I'm gonna turn that on one control would like to connect sure let's do that update password so now this is the point where you can update and put a password in to use the backup camera and I'm just gonna hit the update button here for now and right now, the camera is actually working. We're actually at our manufacturing facility, so you're kind of seeing back the, the side uh, row of the facility. But there is the backup camera working. So it's that simple. So that should answer all the questions you have with setting up your uh, InSight backup camera.